Welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about management of KVM guest VMs. You can see on screen, I've listed a couple of commands which are uh, commonly used commands to manage the life cycle of guest VMs. With watch list, you will list all the VMs. With watch list dash dash all, it will list all the VMs irrespective of state. Because by default, without uh, dash dash all, it only lists uh, the VMs which are in running state. If you want to shut down stop start reboot, simply start guest VM name. Shutdown is going to shut down, reboot is going to reboot. If you want to suspend or resume a VM, just simply watch suspend VM name, resume to resume. If you want to destroy a VM, so first shut it down, then undefine it, then destroy it. You can see on screen the steps. If you want to take console of uh, watch VM, simply watch console guest VM. If you want to take console graphically, I will explain you uh, through genome how you can uh, take console. If you want to exit control, control plus uh, this break. And uh, if you want to enable auto start of VM, auto start basically mean uh, if you want to start the VM automatically when your host system boots, you can enable it. If you want to disable auto start, simply test test disable with auto start option. If you want to get domain ID, domain ID is basically the unique ID for every domain or VM or guest machine. You can simply get it with voice, dom UUID, then the VM name. So along with this, I will give you a couple of other tips. So let's begin guys with lab. I'm on my KVM host. So here, first command I'm going to run that's wash list. Just going to tell what VMs are running. Two VMs are running, test VM1 and test VM, test VM7. So both are running state. If any VM is in stop state, you can list that with dash dash all. So for, I will give you example of dash dash all in a couple of minutes. So let's say you want to shut down a VM, how you can shut it down. Let me shut down this particular VM, which uh, is this one. Verge test VM1. And here command is verge shut down. Test VM1. You can see it is saying uh, the domain is being shut down. Domain is basically VM. So as I mentioned, different uh, providers use different terminologies. So domain, virtual machine, guest VM, KVM guest, they are similar terms. So let me list the VM now. You can see right now it is only showing uh, test VM7 because the test VM1 is being shut down or already shut down. So how you can know like which VMs are in down state. So simply run watch list dash dash all. Here you can see this is the VM. It is not having any ID because when VM is in stop or undefined state, it will not uh, have any ID. Only running VM will show a ID. So test VM1 is, is shut off state. So this is the way you can shut down the VM. In case you want to reboot a VM, so simply watch reboot the VM name or you can put ID also. So if you want to reboot the test win 7, instead of putting the VM name, you can put ID. So domain number three is being rebooted, this particular machine. Just run this command again. You can see it, it will show running only because you are rebooting. ID changes when you do stop and start of VM. If you are rebooting, ID will remain same. If you want to suspend a VM, how you can do that? So let's say wash, suspend, test VM1. Because this time this command will not work because VM is not in valid state. Let's start this VM. How you can do the start? We wash start VM name. If VM is running, then only you can suspend uh, it. So suspend is supported when VM is running. So VM is started. Let's list out the VMs. Okay, it's running. So let's suspend it now. You can see it's suspended. If you see the state now of test VM1, it is post, basically suspended state. If you want to resume this VM, so simply use word resume VM name, or as I mentioned, you can use VM ID or you can use UUID, unique identifier for that domain of VM. So our VM name number is four. It will resume the VM list all. You can see it is running now. If you want to take a console of a VM, that's a watch console. I will uh, come to this one in a couple of 
minutes. Let's check uh, if you want to enable auto start of a VM. Okay, it is saying uh, unexpected because uh, it not supports uh, domain ID option, wash list only. So wash dom info and domain name. This command tells uh, the configuration of a VM. So let me explain in detail. ID is three, name is testfin7. This is the unique ID of uh, this particular domain or VM. It's HVM, state is running, one CPU, this is the CPU time, this is the memory, 1 GB. It's persistent, auto start is disabled at present, you can see here. SC Linux is enabled, which is security basically, and this is a security label. Mm, guys, let's say uh, we want to enable auto start of this VM. So what we have to do, that's very easy, wash, auto start, then VM name or VM ID, or you can put UUID, let's put UUID this time. You can see is marked as auto start. Let's check. You can see here auto start is enabled now. Earlier it was disabled. If you want to disable it again, you can use dash dash disable, which I mentioned earlier for domain or VM name or UUID. It's marked as unmarked basically as auto started. So that's the way you change the thing. If you want to get UUID only of a domain, so simply run wash dom uuid and then vm name mm, let's take it vm1 this is the uuid now uh, if you want to take console of a vm how you can do that so let's list the vms sorry my bad okay so let's take console of uh, test vm1 to take console you have to run wash console you can put uuid you can put uh, id you can put uh, vm name that's up to you the way you are uh, comfortable so let's use uh, id this time so number four so you can see connected to domain console per center you can see this is a console if you want to disconnect from control control the symbol uh, brace uh, scare brace then you can see uh, it is disconnected from console now uh, if you have to do destroy or uh, decommission of a VM, how you can do that? Let's quickly do that uh, for Windows VM because I don't need Windows one. Linux one I will be using for testing. So let's say we have to destroy test VM seven. So first shut it down. So wash, shut down, VM name, let it shut down. So let's check whether VM got uh, stopped or not. It's still running. So let's see why it not got stopped. Even if VM is not stopped or it is taking time, but you know you are going to destroy it, then uh, no need to wait for stop. Just undefine that VM. This is Windows 7 VM. It's undefined and uh, now let's destroy it. You can see it's destroyed if you list the vm with dash dash show it will no more appear which means disk is the vm is destroyed when you destroy a vm you can see by default it will not uh, delete the image file for the vm you can see it's still there and that's a sparse file that's 21 gb in size but if you do du minus sh then you will see the usage is less it's only 4.1 mb because windows installation was not started we have just assigned the vm and for centos one it's 1.1 gb but if you do uh, ls minus lh on this one it is going to show 21 gb because this is a sparse file this is called thin provisioning in other terms so that's the way file is not deleted in case you want to recreate a vm by using this file you can easily recreate it so uh, these was the these were the management things uh, which I thought to discuss with you guys using command line interface. In case you have to do the management using graphical interface, how you can do that? Let me uh, give a quick example. Okay, 
so virtual manager in that one you remember how we launched it in case you forgot an application system tool virtual machine manager or from command line you can type port dash manager so right now only test vm1 is running so let's say you want to get more detail about this vm so simply uh, you can see cpu uses is minimal here if you want to get more details select vm uh, if you want to do any operation click on add it and you want to see virtual machine detail basically through command line we used uh, words what dom info then uh, vm name or domain name or uuid here you can click on virtual machine detail it is going to tell you basically to console i clicked on detail i believe i had clicked somewhere wrong yep yeah, from here only yeah that's fine here you can shut it down you can reboot you can force power you can save save being whatever the configuration it will save you can migrate it to different host you can delete it and uh, here uh, if you want to send any signal control key you can send here in file uh, you can quit from this particular menu let's reopen the virtual machine manager i want to show you how you can uh, change the resource configuration in case you have to do click file sorry uh, i thought there should be option uh, to change the resources for a vm in case you want to do so let me quickly see okay guys i believe option is here if you open this vm select the vm click open and here click on this uh, lamp button it will show you all hardware detail this is the vm name if you want to change this is the performance of vm if you want to monitor what is the resource utilization of a vm how many cpus are located if you want to add, add more cpus you can change here you can see current allocation maximum allocation what memory resize you want to do i'm not applying any change what are the boot options which is the first boot device nic card cd rom or uh, what io disk this is a nic card this is the tablet mode if uh, it's supported keyboard these are the controllers so all settings are here you can easily change if you want to resize memory let's say i want to resize memory to 2 gb so click apply it will be added uh, once your system or guest vm reboots so that's the way guys uh, you change the settings you see the configuration using console so that's it in this session guys uh, thanks for watching i hope you guys are learning and uh, you guys are enjoying the session thanks again okay.